Here's a live look at I-5 and Shoreline. In just a few hours, this highway will be packed as drivers start another commute. It's also been identified as a hot spot for aggressive driving. Yeah, new numbers show traffic in Puget Sound is among the worst in the country, and that aggressive driving and road rage have gotten worse. Cabo Suzanne Vaughn gives us a closer look at where and why it's happening. When tempers flare behind the wheel, yeah, you get the finger, you get the long honk. That sometimes takes a dangerous turn. There's a lot of road rage incidents that happen in Washington. Mattathias Israel and his pregnant wife Shira were driving to work one morning last April when road rage made them fear for their lives. He seemed a little irate just from when I was watching in my rear view the way he was driving. It. Israel said a driver cut him off as he was heading north on I-5 near the Boeing Axis Road. The driver slammed on the brakes as he was exiting, pulled out a gun and fired at Israel twice. Gunfire, like, that was crazy to me. One bullet hit Israel in the leg. He's thankful his wife wasn't hurt. Police never found the driver. So why are drivers so mad? Traffic is just part of the problem. A new study shows that Seattle is the sixth worst in the nation. Numbers from Kirkland-based Inric show more than 60,000 people in Seattle spent more than 90 minutes to get to work every day. In fact, Seattle area drivers spent 138 hours driving in traffic last year, and it's only going to get worse. More construction now than ever with the so called Seattle Squeeze Project, says the Seattle Department of Transportation. We are going to be squeezed until probably 2024. More tower cranes, more construction, and that means a lot of frustration for drivers. That means longer commutes and more people losing their patience. Law enforcement, AAA, and insurance companies say road rage is hard to track. If drivers get caught, they're not charged with road rage. Instead, experts track aggressive driving, which they say is definitely on the rise. If you're speeding, you're cutting in and out of traffic, you're cutting people off. Last year, WashDOT reported aggressive driving-related fatalities increased by 21%. The three highways with the most aggressive driving-related deaths are I-5, I-90, and State Route 18. Most crashes from aggressive driving happen on I-5, I-405, and I-90. According to Washington State Patrol, the three hot spots on I-5 are milepost 143 in Federal Way and milepost 174 and 175 in the Shoreline area. Authorities try to tackle the road rage problem with more officers patrolling hot spots and with more education. We're just driving. We're both trying to commute to where we're commuting to. Israel says his nearly deadly encounter with road rage is one he'll never forget. He hopes others will remember this. There's never a reason to try to take someone's life, especially over traffic. In Seattle, Suzanne Fawn, Como News. SDOT and PIMCO Insurance just launched a campaign to help combat aggressive driving. It's called Seattle's Safest Driver Competition. The winner after eight weeks gets 5,000 bucks. We have a link at comonews.com. GEICO Insurance offers tips on handling other aggressive driving situations. At the outset of trouble, try to create a safe distance by changing lanes or even exiting the road. Don't respond to the other driver and don't make eye contact. Don't stop your car as that could lead to a face-to-face -face confrontation. If the driver is following you, head to a police station.